In today's video, we will unravel what a repository is, how does repositories work, and peek into some popular ones across different Linux flavors. So are you ready to dive in? Let's roll! A Linux repository is a collection of packages just like a warehouse full of goods. When users install new software, package managers search the OS repositories to find the required package. Each Linux distribution has its official repositories acting as centralized hubs for storing, managing, and distributing software packages. Generally, Linux users use a package manager to discover and install new software packages. Afterward, the package manager checks the system's configured repositories to find the requested package. Once the package manager finds the package in a repository, it retrieves the required files and installs the package on the user's system. Beside this, repositories hold essential information regarding the available packages, such as the package name, version, dependencies, and other metadata the system needs. So based on this information, the package manager determines which packages to install, which dependencies to resolve, and which packages are required to update. A Debian repository stores software packages for Debian and its derivatives like Ubuntu and Linux Mint. And in terms of functionality, packages are organized into various sections such as Main. Here, you will find fully supported packages that adhere to Debian's free software guidelines. Next, it comes to Contrib. It contains packages that depend on software from the Main section but might have more restrictive license. And finally, Non-free. This contains packages that are not free. Now let's talk about Ubuntu, one of the Debian-based Linux distros. Ubuntu repositories are mainly used by apt, the primary command line package manager in Ubuntu. apt stores a list of repositories in the sources.list file, and inside the repository list, URLs or addresses are stored that apt should use to download and install packages. Ubuntu repositories are divided into four main types, starting with main, that contains officially supported open source software and maintained by the Ubuntu community. Then, restricted, it's the proprietary software that is supported by Ubuntu but not open source. Later on, moving on to universe, these are community maintained open source softwares. And lastly, multiverse, it contains proprietary or restricted software not supported by Ubuntu. You can view the list of repositories enabled on your Ubuntu system by inspecting the sources.list file. This file contains the URLs of the repositories with the package types they provide. To view the list, in the terminal, just type the command cat slash etc slash apt slash sources.list. To add a new repository, you can either directly edit the sources.list file or use the add apt repository command. For example, to add the universe repository, type the command sudo add apt repository universe. And when you need to update the repository information, you can use the command sudo apt update. Beyond official Ubuntu sources, there are additional options for software. Let's have a look on some of them. PPS, personal package archives hosted on Launchpad provide a platform to introduce software that is not available in official repositories. Next, canonical partner repositories. These offer access to closed source software, including applications like Adobe Flash, Skype, and Spotify. Then, Web UPD8 PPA. It is maintained by Web UPD8, offering applications like AP Hotspot and Rhythm Box. Moving on to the GIMP. The repository provides a faster option for accessing the image editing program. Later on comes Wine. It enables running Windows on Linux. Then Flatpak. It offers cross-distribution packages. And at last, LibreOffice. It is the go-to for the latest Office suite. Red Hat-based repository provides software packages for distros like RHEL, Fedora, CentOS, etc. using RPM or EM DNF as package management tool. Now let's dive into the repository used by CentOS, a Red Hat-based Linux distribution. 
Yum used in Red Hat based systems provides software packages similar to Debian's app. It supports plugin for customized and enhanced package management. CentOS has several official repositories that are enabled by default, such as Base Repository. It is the core set of packages that contains essential software and libraries required for the system. Then Updates Repository. Upgraded packages in Base Repository after CentOS IOSs, covering security bug fixes and improvements and extras. Additional packages that are not in the base or updates repositories, such as new kernel modules or third-party software. YAM repository configurations are found in files with .repo extensions within the yum.repos.d directory. To view the list, the command syntax is yum followed by repo list followed by options. Now to check the list with detailed information on each repository, you can use the command yum-v repolist. If you want to list only enabled repository, you can use yum repolist enabled command. And if you want to check the list of only disabled repositories, use the command yum repolist disabled. Now last but not the least, to check the list of all repositories, you can use yum repolist all command. To add a YAM repository on RPM-based Linux distributions like CentOS, Fedora, or RHEL via the command line, create a .repo file in yum.repos.d directory with the repository configuration. And afterward, update the YAM cache. Alternatively, you can use the yum-config-manager command with this syntax. After adding or modifying repositories, you have to update the repository information. For that, you can use the command sudo yum update. A Docker repository is a store of Docker images, self-contained packages with code, runtime, libraries, and tools needed to run the software. These images can be stored in repositories on Docker Hub or other container image registries. There are some differences between Docker repository and registry, and you can go through this table to learn about these differences. Here are some commonly used Docker repositories and registries. At first, Docker Hub. It hosts individual repositories with multiple image versions and serves as a registry. Next, official images. It is maintained by Docker Hub, offering curated open source and solution repositories. Azure Container Registry comes in the third position. Microsoft Azure's registry for Docker images within the Azure ecosystem. Then GitHub Container Registry. A private registry for GitLab users managing images alongside code. In number five, Harbor an open-source self-hosted container registry compatible with various cloud services and CI-CD platforms. And finally, in number 6, Amazon ECR, a WSS-managed Docker container registry seamlessly integrating with AWS services. To conclude, repositories are vital for Linux package management, providing a simple and organized way to access software. Whether you are using Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS, or other distributions, understanding how to view, add, and update repositories is essential for a smooth software experience. Hope you found this video helpful, and for a better understanding, check out the article linked in the description. Goodbye!